What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I have been so excited to post. This has been one of my favorite videos to film and so I am so excited for you guys to take a look at these keto bento box lunches that I've come up with and packed for my husband all week long. It's going to be Monday through Friday lunches. I have both hot and cold options so we like to kind of do like different things. My husband does have a microwave at his job and some of these bento boxes can be used in the microwave and so I did some hot lunches, some cold, so that way he didn't always feel like he was eating cold stuff. I just feel like these turned out so, so great. I'm so excited for you guys to check them out, and I will have all the supplies linked down below if you guys want to get some of the bento boxes that I have. I'm trying out different ones, and so far, I have no complaints. Like, I actually really like all of them for all different reasons. I don't know what I'm gonna get more of until I use them for a little bit longer period of time, but so far, I don't have any cons for any of them. Now, if you guys liked this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs thumbs up button and subscribe because I'm going to be doing these videos every single Saturday. So I'm going to be having new lunch ideas every single week. It's going to be Monday through Friday again, and the video will come out on Saturdays. I've just absolutely loved doing this. And I just like, I have so many ideas written down and many more ideas coming out of my head, like while I'm even making these. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, you guys, so this is my basket of lunch items. We're gonna go through some of them really quick. So this is the Mon Bento uh, lunch box that I got. This is the first one that I got and I actually really like it. I love that it's black and I love how much food can fit into it. I did order the utensils separately and so I will have all the stuff linked down below for you guys to check out. Um, but this one is really, really nice. It came with this little container so you can you know, separate things if you don't have any silicone liners but it just stacks right on top and there's this little like band that keeps it together and this is just great like especially for my husband it's black so it works really well for a guy's lunch next we have this like green box i forget what the brand of it is but this was the cheaper of all three options that i got um and then this one also already came with a fork and a spoon it's kind of like bamboo type of plastic but this is three different levels so the bottom level Level is the thickest and then the other two levels are pretty thin so you wouldn't be able to put like a whole bunch of stuff in it unless you're like kind of laying it down and then it also has a divider so you can move the divider you can pull it out and put it in any level that you want the bottom layer since it has that like little area it would be able to be kind of leak proof both of these are both dishwasher safe and microwave safe you can see the black one is a little bit shorter but both of the layers are a little bit taller so those are kind of the differences with those ones now I did get this lunch box. Uh, this is a stainless steel one and you, they have different like dividers and stuff. So I got the one with the very big left side opening and then the two compartments right there. Now this is dishwasher safe, but obviously since it's stainless steel, it would not be able to go in the microwave. So that's why I'm using the other ones for microwavable things. Then I got this little thermos for only $5 in the little like, you know, area of Target that everyone loves. And then this little dressing bottle, I got a couple of these. They were only a dollar also at Target. So you should definitely go check out Target for any like lunch things because they're really cheap right now. Then I got these two stainless steel like utensil holders so these are like actual stainless steel I got black for my husband and then I got this very pretty blue for me this is just so great because you can just throw it in it has two straws a knife a fork and a spoon and let me tell you it's just way better than using plastic utensils at work Okay, let's go ahead and get into Monday's lunch. So I'm first making a chia pudding, which I will link up above. I have recipes already on YouTube that are keto chia puddings. And so there's like three different flavors in that recipe video. Um, I'm just making a basic like vanilla blueberry one right now, but it has to sit overnight before it even sets up anyway. But I thought that this would be a great thing for me to include in my husband's lunch just as an extra thing in case he needed breakfast um, or maybe if he wanted to use it for dessert.
Now we're going to be making chicken salad for the first lunch. I'm just cutting up some celery, some onions. I have this can of chicken. I had gotten it for a trip that we just recently took um, and I didn't end up using it. It doesn't have the best ingredients. Usually I just, you know, cook regular chicken, but in a pinch it works. And then I'm using mayonnaise, Dijon mustard. Normally I make my mayonnaise. And so I will link that recipe up above for you guys to check out because it's so easy. I'm just trying to use up this mayo that we had left over from a trip. And then of course, salt and pepper. I'm cutting a washed green pepper in half and just kind of scooping out or cutting out the inside seed part to make like a cup. And then I'm going to fill it with the chicken salad. So it's going to be like chicken salad in these little pepper cups. And I mean, it works really well. You can hold it and eat it. I don't know. I just really like it. I love the everything bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. So I decided to top some of that on there. And then I had some salami and some cheese that I cut and I decided to put it on a skewer so that way it just fit in that compartment really, really nicely. Now, these are some flax crackers that I made. I'll link the recipe up above and down below for you guys. They're so easy. There's hardly any ingredients and they're keto. And then I'm including some carrots and some ranch from Tesame's. Usually I will make homemade ranch, but I just had this leftover bottle. So this is lunch for Monday. My husband ended up really, really liking it. And this lunch box just turned out really, really great. Okay, next up is Tuesday's lunch. We are making meatball subs. So I'm just making some homemade meatballs, but you could totally buy pre-made meatballs, which would definitely be like easier, but I had some ground beef that I had to use up. Just make sure that you check the ingredients on the meatballs and make sure that they're not too high carb or have breadcrumbs in them. As you can see, mine just contain a couple ingredients and I'm just gonna bake them in the oven. Now I'm working on the actual sub part. I'm just making like a fat head dough. I'll link one of the fat head dough recipes down below, but pretty much any of them would work just because, you know, I'm just making a dough. Now I did include some spices like oregano and garlic powder just to kind of like make it taste like something. And of course, salt and pepper. But these I just made into three little sub rolls and baked them off. And they ended up being absolutely amazing for this. So I was really glad that I like jumped in and made these because I've never made meatball keto subs before, but they turned out absolutely delicious. I just cut them using a serrated knife and then I'm using the Rowles tomato sauce, which I just got. And oh my gosh, it is so good. So one thing that I should have done differently here is I should have put the bread part in this thinner area where I'm putting the meatballs. I should have swapped those two because what happened is the lid that went on top of the bread, it would have been nice if it could go on top of the meatballs because the bottom of the third layer got really messy with sauce. So if I were to do this again, I would switch it, put the bread in that second layer and put the meatballs in the bottom to have the lid, which keeps it from spilling or anything. Then in the third area, I just made an easy salad. It was just cucumber, red onion, and carrots. And then I packed some ranch with it. And so this was the lunch for Tuesday. And then I did pack up some of the chia pudding with some keto granola, which I have the recipe down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. Okay, now for Wednesday's lunch, I am making a shrimp cob salad. So I just put in some greens, some cucumber, some red onion, some carrots, some avocado, which I actually mixed with lemon juice because I'm making all of these lunches a day beforehand. And so I didn't want the avocado to turn brown. So you just mix it with a little lemon juice and then it'll stay green for the next day. And then I bought pre-cooked shrimp, but I just put some chipotle chili pepper on them and salt and pepper just to kind of liven them up a little bit. And then we're gonna make the dressing, which is this Greek yogurt. This Cabot brand is so good. It is so thick and so creamy and fatty. It's amazing. 
Mix some lemon juice, some fresh garlic, and some green onion, salt and pepper, and then I use the immersion blender to just like puree it into a really good dressing for the cob salad. Now I'm using some silicone liners and I'm putting some fresh strawberries in one side and then I'm adding some Lily's chocolate chips, which you can just get these at Walmart now, which I'm so glad that they have them, and some pecan halves. So that'll just be a little like snack or treat for him. And then I hard boiled some eggs to go with the cob salad and I had cooked some bacon in the oven. So I just chopped that up with some scissors, which is definitely the easiest way to chop bacon. And there you go, we got a cob salad ready to go. All right, Thursday's lunch, we're going to be making stuffed mushrooms. So I'm gonna cook this chorizo just in a pan, and while that's cooking, I'm cleaning the mushrooms. So you take out the stem, and then you use a spoon to kind of like scrape all the gills out. I'm just doing that with all the mushrooms, and then I'm going to pour some avocado oil, or I guess I should say sprinkle, and then garlic powder, sage, salt, and pepper, and into the oven for about 10 minutes or so. Once the mushrooms have cooked a little bit and the chorizo is done, I actually mixed some cream cheese into the chorizo to kind of make it more like a filling. And then I put those in the mushrooms and I topped it with some shredded mozzarella cheese. After that, back into the oven so that way everything can kind of like, you know, melt all together. And that's what it looks like when it's done. Now I'm going to include a couple of these into the bottom of this bento box and I ended up putting some lettuce on the side of it then so that way they didn't like move around anywhere and I just cut up some red peppers, some pepper jack cheese, more of these flax crackers and then I'm doing some strawberries in one of these silicone liners and in the other one I got these skinny dipped almonds that are like espresso powdered. I got these from the Misfits box, which I get a Misfits box every single week. I love it. I have a review video about it that I'll link up above and down below for you guys. But it was something new that I tried. And so I put these in with some pecans and of course some everything bagel ranch that I had for the peppers. All right, we're on the last one for Friday. So when I was hard boiling eggs for the cob salad, I just went ahead and hard boiled a bunch. So I had these in the fridge waiting for this lunch and I'm making deviled eggs. So I just you know, poured out the yolks and I'm adding some mayonnaise, some Dijon mustard, some apple cider vinegar and salt and pepper. I did add too much mayo, so they were runnier than I normally like, but I decided to add some chopped onion just to kind of like liven it up a little bit. So I just scoop these into the like egg whites and then I sprinkle them with paprika. I ended up laying some lettuce down just so that way the eggs didn't like slide around and get super, super messy. They are a little messy just because I did make the filling too liquidy with the mayonnaise, but I'm adding some cucumbers with this like little cutter that I got. I've seen some other people use this cutter and we saw it for just a couple dollars at the store and oh my gosh, it makes the vegetables so cute. So we have these little like cucumber, I don't know, fries, I guess if you wanna call them that. And then I use the cutter to also cut some slices of cheese. And so I'm just putting these in the silicone liners. I really like the silicone liners because it keeps things from getting moist and like touching each other. Now I did bake up some zucchini muffins. They are keto, but I'm still testing out the recipe. So I'm not gonna share it here, but I baked those and then I mixed some coconut butter and some Lily's chocolate chips. And I'm just gonna put that on top of the zucchini muffin. Then I'm sprinkling it with some coconut and then that's gonna be like a little bit of a treat. Since that was the last lunch for the week, let me know down in a comment which lunch you thought was your favorite. 
right, you guys, that's it for this video. If there's anything that you wanted to see different in next week's video, just pop a comment down below. That way I know, but let me know if you liked this. I just wanna hear you guys' thoughts so I know if these videos are filmed right for next week since I'm going to do this as like a weekly series thing. But I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I will see you guys in Wednesday's video. Bye everyone.